Hello everyone, and welcome to my brand new series. Yes, I am doing another Minecraft series. So before I had a laptop and it was slow and I it wasn't fun because I it, it looked like shit to be honest. But now I have a PC and this is a new mod pack called Project Ozone. So you can see that it looks a lot like it's kind of like Sky Factory Skyblock. But no. It's different and I, w I wouldn't say better because I don't know maybe you guys might like Sky Factory more but it's it's really good I really loved it and I want to show it to you guys so yeah we got fireworks of course but um let's see let's just put these away cuz actually let's open this oh let's just open this just in case yep we got some Stuff from that. So we have a diamond and some oak saplings. Let's go, Batania. Let's try opening that. Nope, no, no e achieves for that. Um. So this is our qu quest book. Let's read it. A pack inspired by two other sky-related mod packs. So much tech has been added to this pack because the creator loves tech more than magic. All right. This H HQM is only a guide in which it will not determine what you do or don't do. You have the freedom to do the quests I made or not. I will consider 100% of this pack is completed when both HQM and Simple Achievements are completed. In this pack, NEI and the internet will probably help a lot. Now go forth and explore Project Ozone ever since Error 404 had happened. Feedback is always welcome. Alright, well, that didn't have a real story, but... Let's let's see what this is. All right, we opened that I think so we get anything we want. Um, I got essence berry bush last time, but I it didn't really do anything. And slime slapping, I don't know if this would do much either. But hmm, let's just get slime slapping. All right, and we also got a chain block. But let, should I open it now? I might die. Okay, so. Let me show you the coolest thing about this. Um, how many layers is this? One thing, yeah, better not mess around with this. Okay, so, oh my god, there's water here. Alright, this is also cool, because in Sky Factory, um, if you sh left, click the shift button a bunch of times, it kind of like gives a sapling, but in this one, like, in that one, in Sky Factory, you have to do, like, a bunch of times for, like, one little, like, tick. But here, you, like, grow these saplings in, like, less than three seconds. So just watch this. Okay. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I, I told you guys it'll grow in um, three seconds, but that took away too long. I don't know why. Maybe if I plant another one. Huh. Weird. Okay, another thing is vein miners on, so let's just turn that on. Vein um, miner mode sneak. So that means that whenever I click shift, hold shift, it, and I break a block, anything that's the exact same as that block would break. So if I want, oh no, this is too big. Okay, so this is what happens. If I like just uh, shift, hold, hold shift and break this block, Almost like all the wood would break. Like, look how much. Okay, I also got an achievement. So let's break this. So I broke all the leaves and. Ooh, I didn't get any saplings though. Oh no. Hmm. No. Oh. Yeah, I broke that. That's light, but oops. All right. Oh no, I didn't pick up anything. Well, we got a lot of wood, so we can place this around and. Um, place wood around to make like a platform and make sure to pick up um, saplings next time I grow a tree. So let's vein miner that. Okay, this is going to be annoying because these are like, th I grew a f big tree and it's going to be annoying to break it. So let's do that. Let's go over here and break that. Yeah, I won't reach that so I may have to build up a little more. Yeah, this is going to take a while. 
Oh god. Uh, I'm already hungry. Yeah, vein winder takes away a lot of your hunger because you're like breaking a lot of blocks and when you break blocks I think you get hungry. So yeah, a lot of apples and stuff drop too, but once we make a platform, um okay, saplings are gonna be really easy to get as well as wood. Like wood we're gonna like have a ton of stacks. So we're gonna have to make a better barrel. That's what it's called. Where it, like stores one item but like like sixty four stacks of it. Sixty four stacks of one item can be held in a bit better barrel. Okay. Um so yeah, let's make a crafting table right now out of the wood we got. And you know what? Let's make uh, Tinker's plus construct. Um, Tinker's construct crafting station because it's better. It's, your items stay in it, so this way it doesn't fall if you accidentally get out. And this is kind of like Skyblock Project Ozone, so you don't want stuff to fall. Um, what did I want? Okay, I was gonna make some tools, but let's first make some pl platforms so let's get that and just expand out okay um, would we really need access to the water down there yeah you can always break it we, we, we kinda know where it is I think I don't know it's it's there Can have like a trap door there. I can do that. That'll work better than actually uh, blocking it. So let's build out a little and we're gonna put our crafting station here and stuff and actually give space for the um, sapling to grow. Okay, let's also make a door. Trap door for this. There you go. Um, I think that's a good idea. I hope. So yeah, if you guys were wondering, um, uh, like where I'm playing this or like what I'm, what is this on? Like, is it on AT launcher or Feed the Beast launcher? It's not. I actually, um, kind of was confused because I never use this, but it's on the curse. Um. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Just like it's curse launcher sort of, but like the mine. There's and then I got one version of like it's kind of like a launcher, but it wasn't for Minecraft, and I was confused as heck. But apparently there's like one special for Minecraft, so make sure you get that one. It's called a client, curse client. So if you guys were wondering, just go to like search curse and like go to the download part, and it's the client. So uh, I'm not gonna waste your time by talking. So let's. Should place this here so I can pick up the, the saplings that it drops. Okay, we're gonna um, make a crook just because we can. We have a lot of wood already. And we can also make um, an axe. Okay, so shift click and vein miner is awesome. Okay, we got. Two saplings, I believe. Yep. Yeah. We should also make a chest to, just to keep our stuff safe. Alright, okay, let's put it here. Put our diamonds, all this trash in here. Keep keep this, um, this. This, this, this. So this is here. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um so see we tap shift bunch so sh we're gonna use shift a lot in here. Let's actually use a crook. Vein mine that and we got nine saplings. Wow. Get rid of all that. See, so this is so much faster. The series is gonna like because usually sky factor and skyblock, the first like two, three episodes is kind of annoying because oh no. I hate big trees. Why do I keep getting big trees? I'm so unlucky. Alright. Oh well, let's break all that. Um, don't mind that. Can't reach that. 
that sucks. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to break this and actually nerd pull up and break it again. So yeah, this is really fun. And if you guys are enjoying this, um, please uh, hit hit that like button and comment below like what do you think I should do with this like how I'm gonna build my base any any suggestions because uh, like why not I'll do it I'm sure a lot of you play Sky Factor and Skyblock or oh, not yeah Skyblock what was the other called Aguarian Skies yeah Aguarian Skies was also fun if you guys like have are good in those and have any idea for a mod pack similar to that please tell me because I I would love to um do those so let's just shift a bunch of times break this okay, why is this sky so red it's weird whoa oh it's a blood moon oh apparently it says blood moon is red yeah so that's cool oh no that's not cool there's gonna be monsters spawning everywhere where's my torch oh god um so f7 shows all the Okay, no, that doesn't protect everywhere. I'm gonna have to put this somewhere else. Right here? Is everywhere safe? Yep. Alright, so we're not threatened by um, monsters anymore. That's better. Oh no! Uh, one spot. How? Hmm. Oh well. Hopefully, we don't get any monsters. Okay. Let's actually look at a quest book just because yeah, you guys didn't see the quest book. So it asks for 64 cobblestone. We're going to um, try to do this by next episode, but let me show you how. This is my favorite thing. Because you know how you, the, usually in Skyblock, the first thing you do is, well, not the first thing, second thing is like make a cobblestone generator. Well, hear me out. Screw that. Look at this. I shift right click dirt or grass and yeah, it throws out pebbles and when you craft them together, it makes cobblestone. Like, holy crap. This is amazing. There's, um... So yeah, we have like infinite cobble. It does take kind of a while because it's asking for 64 cobblestone. So then you have to get 4 stacks of these pebbles. But, um... I'm just showing you that this is how you do it. And it's really cool. Um... Try and think how long this episode's been. Okay, so it's been 12 minutes, about. So yeah, let's actually continue and see if we can complete this, our first actual, like, major quest to get 64 cops. Is there anything else? Yeah, it's asking for silkworm and barrels. We could do that easily. Hmm. So yeah. This is the quest book. Look, you can tell, like, there's a ton of stuff here. And this isn't all we can... Oh, there's magical crops. That's, that's really useful. Magical crops are awesome. It's like, um, it's a farming mod where you pretty much, uh, make plants that grow diamonds and, like, other items that are very useful and, like, hard to get. Like, you can grow redstone, iron, um, I don't know, dirt. Dirt's pretty useful because, uh, uh you need some dirt to make farms. So yeah, uh, that's pretty useful. Uh, so we're gonna make sure that we get a huge farm later on for a magical crop. That's gonna be fun. And yeah, I really I'm trying to envision a ton of stuff for this series because I love it. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna enjoy this so much. And um, I'm gonna have to give a shout out to uh, Cranercraft because I I first saw him play this. And, you know, I'm not saying he made the game, but, like, he played it and he's an awesome YouTuber, so I just guess I'd give him a shout-out, because he started playing this, like, very, like, I don't know how, when, but it was, like, I think in this week, and I don't know if he's the first one, he probably isn't, but, you know, he's, like, the first famous YouTuber to do it, and I just want to do it, too, because I love the game, and I was like, hey, I got a YouTube channel, why not? So, I actually did get 64 cobblestone. It wasn't that hard. Let's see what we get. Oh, we get a full heart, can a full heart, and chance cube, and I'll show you what that is. And a reward bag. 
So, I'm just gonna go with the middle one. Alright. Let's open this first. Just. Ooh. Damn. But, wait, what? It says crap reward, but. It's not that crap. I got some building blocks. These are like worth a lot too, no? No, maybe not. Uh, jukeboxes. Oh no, it's a notebook. Never. Mind. Well, we'll put those away. Put all this away just in case I die. This gives me an extra life because, yep, I think it's hardcore. And let's put all this away. And I'll show you what this chance cube is. So let's get go over here in the corner. So if any of you know Lucky Blocks, this is pretty much luck. Okay, I don't know what the shadow is. I think this means it's a bad one. I don't know. I'm scared. Let's break it. Ooh, okay. Well, that was lucky because we quickly punched him off and he didn't do too much damage. Yeah, that, that was in weird. So, we our first chance block is bad. Sucks, but you know. Um, I actually think this is cool because we can have little challenges, you know. You guys can like comment on whether if I do a challenge, I have to open a chance block or not. Because I have a chance cube, sorry. That's a lucky block I can keep mixing up with. It's called a chance block. Alright, so um, we got this. Let's make an um, stone axe just because we can. Let's do that. And break this. We could also make a home, but uh, we don't have to. But let's do that. Let's see if we could. I mean, we got a ton of... You know what? We could do this second episode. We'll make a house in the second episode. Right now, you guys are going to watch me just get a bunch more resources. Which is still pretty cool, because look at that. This is awesome. We also got this. Water. Um, let's turn this all into cobblestone. Awesome. Um, I love that. So quick. Okay. So, yeah, the bad part is this place keeps giving me um, huge trees. I don't know why. Maybe it's the biome. On the mini map, the biome says forest hills. And I don't know if it has anything to do with the size of the trees. I doubt it does, but it might. So you guys can tell me that in the comments. And yeah, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, even though it's been like first episode. Please leave a like, cause, um, I I guess the support I get for the first episode shows how excited you guys are for this series. And if you guys are new to the channel, um, I guess you guys should subscribe, to see the next episode and all of my other content, cause it's pretty gnarly. Well, why does this tree look so weird? It's like a weird tree. I don't know, I can't explain, it just looks really weird. Minecraft trees don't look like that. Okay, so... We could actually make a furnace, that's how quick this game is, like, look at that, we made a furnace. If this was like, Sky Factory would've been... Episode 4, when I make a furnace. But right now, we can like, legit make uh, charcoal right now. So let's do that, why not? Um, we'll put some here, let's take some of that out, uh, sure, so yeah, as, as you see, we are actually making charcoal already, we have a ton of saplings, we can make oak barrels and everything, do I have any, I haven't got any silkworms though, those are, you, we need those for, um, the quest, and also to get stringed. This says to kill 32 spirits, so I guess like any animal. This is our next quest. Let's make an oak barrel just because we, we have some time. Mm. If I remember how to make an oak barrel, I think it's like this. It's three over here and three over here. Okay. Um, so let's make four. Okay. Good thing we have a lot of wood, so let's do that. Four, four. What am I doing? Let's take that out. One, two, three. Bam. 
and we did that part. All we need is a silkworm, and we are going to be done with this quest. So actually, let's do let's keep breaking trees until we get it. I do think we have to crook this though to have a good chance of getting one. So let's make a crook while we're at it. Hmm. And did we get one? No. Come on, give me one. Give me a oh this fell. Let's remember to cook this first. Oh, am I getting any didn't get any worms? Pick that up first. Come on, come on, give me give me worm. I need a worm. Silkworm. Got wow, that's a lot of charcoal already. It's awesome. So um, let's craft another one because this isn't these trees aren't giving us any. Oh god! Come on, just give me a freaking. We also got apples, so we're, we're good with food. We're also gonna have to cook some um cobblestone, and get stone, cause when we make a juicer, we can turn um fruits into juice, which um, gives actually more hunger to us. Like, I mean, like, it replenishes our hunger more. So that always helps. Oh, we got two silkworms, so we actually finished um, the quest. We're gonna pick the one on the right, and let's actually open this right now before we end this episode. And we got a Tesseract frame. Mm, it's unique, awesome. And this is a hard canister, I'll show you what this is. So, when you put it here, it gives you, uh, if you see that by hearts, it's actually like yellowish. That gives me like one more heart. That's awesome, right? Okay, so let's uh, clear this up and end the episode off, guys. And yeah, this is episode one. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.